Racing our GT3 DTM cars in Zandvoort in the Netherlands, coming up next. Hello once again, slot car race fans. Welcome back to another DTM GT3 crossover league where we are racing our cars tonight at Zandvoort right down in the Netherlands. Now this is a very good twisty, curvy, crazy type of track. And if you like that style of racing, don't forget to check out our video over on Patreon where I will personally show you exactly how I built this amazing track. Piece by piece, part by part, four lanes digital and really, really cool. And remember to stay tuned to the end of the video because we're still doing this giveaway contest. We want to get up to 5,000 subscribers over at the Madcap Romanian channel. So don't forget to like, subscribe and share. And there is a video coming up on this giveaway, this cool Carrera tow truck with the dropping tailgate, the flashing lights and the honky honky horn. <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that video, those videos for the track build and whatever will be up here at the end of the video. And speaking of the 5,000 subscribers, we have got ourselves up to 4,200 even. And hopefully, hopefully everybody will stay on there because <laughs> it has been fluctuating as we go along in time here. So we want to get over this little t fluctuation at 200 and push that thing up to 800 subscribers over on the Madcap Romanian channel and then I can finally give this away. The next time I do a giveaway contest it's not going to be such a huge jump on numbers because this contest started in February, we're almost into October. <laughs> so I wanted to get it, you know, snapping faster. But anyway, taking out enough time with this, we all want to see racing. Yes we do of course. So let's go down to the track right here at Zanvoort and see racing but before we do that who are you rooting for to win the league is it me mark glenn rosie uh howard or kevin who is your favorite write it in the comments below and now let's watch the race
Here we are at the end of the race and our current scoring is I've got 29 points, Rosie had 19, Howard could not make it, Kevin aced the track, got 72 points, Mark got 28, and Glenn got 44. So let's see how that affects our overall race standings. So not much has changed in the standings, we've only had one switch in position. I am in 3rd place with 130 points, Rosie is in 6th place with 47, Howard is 2nd with 148, Kevin is in 4th with 102, Mark is 5th with 98, and Glenn is in 1st place with 219. The switch came between, I do believe it was Kevin and Mark's positions. So let's see how we do next week at the Red Bull Ring. Hey everybody, it's Trevor. I thought I'd just jump in the video here and do a little question and answer period, a quick one. I had a question from Andre Lee, one of our YouTube watchers, about the elevation and track, because some of the tracks like Nürburgring, they are raised up and dropped down. And he's asking what I use for the elevation pieces and, you know, what, what I did. So when we started building these tracks years ago, uh, my dad and I, we got this piece of um, plywood it's about three quarter inch thick we got a sheet of it actually it was from a display from another hobby shop <laughs> anyway my dad measured these out that the four lane track going across so you got the four lanes there 17 inches 
is a pretty good measurement. So he set up the saw for 17 inches and then we cut these things measured out. So this one is about an inch high. Uh, we've got our elevations going from like a half an inch, you know, maybe three quarters this one. And the most common we have is two inches high. So, you know, there's your whatever, right? And then the tallest we have is this one at seven inches. So there's two, you know, four, six and an inch, that sort of thing. So this is what how we, we make our elevations. And now every track plan that I use, and even, you know, reference on the internet and that stuff, they will show, if you type in track plan elevations, they will show it. So that's our question for the week. Well, I hope you enjoyed that amazing slot car race. And man, that guardrail way down there in the corner over there will never be the same. We lost six guardrail supports by cars going whack into that rail. So next week, we will be at the big Red Bull ring with our DTM GT3 cars. And don't forget, we are giving away this thing. All you need to do is a like, subscribe, and share to us over at the Madcap Romanian channel. And if you want to build this great track and many, many others, there's like 30 tracks on my Patreon account. Come on over and join us. Sign on up. Uh, your patronage will help us to build this great site. And of course, all these videos. If you really love these videos and want to see them get better and better and better, help us out over on Patreon. We much, much appreciate it. And we'll show you how to build our tracks in exchange and many other things. So check that out on the video coming up here. And your name is also in the credits if you join us on Patreon, which will be running after this. And don't forget our giveaway contest and the video there will be down here. So until next time, we'll see you at the Red Bull Ring and happy racing.